Sports is about to begin.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the SIGGRAPH 2019 Conference Chair, Mickey Rose. Good morning, everyone. I'm pleased to welcome you to SIGGRAPH 2019 here in sunny California. Los Angeles always feels like home as we've experienced many wonderful conferences in this very location. No doubt, SIGGRAPH 2019 will live up to that stature once again. I'm thrilled to welcome you to an experience built to help the community thrive in the moments at the conference and for taking and applying beyond this week of wonder. At the core of that wonder is our community. Many return year after year to gather with dear friends and colleagues to make new acquaintances who will become future dear friends. Alongside our community is the technology, creativity, and learning, which is synonymous with SIGGRAPH and inspires each of us to strive to achieve more. We're so grateful you see the power of that inspiration and have taken time out of your busy schedules to attend, enjoy, and learn with us together. Thank you for being here with us. Speaking of thank yous, there are some people that I would like to recognize for their efforts in helping to build SIGGRAPH 2019. It's going to be a problem. There we go. <laughs> My fabulous conference committee, made up of some very dedicated volunteers and contractors. I've been lucky enough to work with this wonderful group of people for the last two years on this project and have major love and respect for each and every one of them. Our program chairs give tirelessly of their knowledge, experience, and time, and with an astounding impact. Our contractors work to support my vision and that of my conference committee, helping to make that into a reality. This conference committee has created a very special event, and I can't thank them enough for their hard work and dedication. Congratulations, team. You did it. Please join me in giving them a round of applause for a job well done. <laughs> to my encouraging family and friends, throughout my SIGGRAPH career, they have been supportive of my journey with this great organization and conference. I don't, have, I don't think I surprised any of them when I applied to be a conference chair, but the love, support, patience with my odd schedule, and dog sitting assistance that got me here today is greatly appreciated. Thank you especially to Mama, Daddy, Will, and all of my friends who have listened to me babble on about SIGGRAPH for many years now. You can clap for that, that's cool. <laughs> and to my enthusiastic work family at Blue Sky Studios. Thank you to the studio as a whole for their support, to my fur team for being my sounding board, and specifically to my supervisors and managers for their understanding and flexibility throughout my conference chair experience. I'm very proud to be a part of this company that's doing great things. <laughs> Additionally, it is essential that I call out all of our conference contributors. Their thinking, teaching, experiences, and creativity provide our valuable conference content. Thank you to them. Being the SIGGRAPH 2019 conference chair has a very personal meaning to me. My journey with SIGGRAPH began 17 years ago when I first experienced this conference at SIGGRAPH 2002 as a student volunteer. My eyes were open to the exciting world of computer graphics and their, the supportive SIGGRAPH community, and I was hooked. I've since held other volunteer positions, including student volunteer team leader, XSV, S3 committee member, student volunteer program chair, you're seeing a theme here, uh, Computer Animation Festival co-director, and Production Sessions Program Chair. I'm also actively involved with my local chapter. Shout out to NYC ACM SIGGRAPH. I've loved volunteering with this community, and thus getting the honor to chair the annual conference is very special. I'd encourage all that have considered volunteering in some capacity to do so. You'll be impressed by the talented people that you work with and all you can accomplish together, and you'll likely be hooked pretty quickly as well. Hold on. When I began planning for this conference, it was great of, in, of great importance to me to champion community and sustainability. SIGGRAPH is a welcoming home base for everyone interested in computer graphics and interactive techniques. Our attendees and ACM members are at the core of that community, and we continue to look for ways to positively grow this audience base and embrace diversity and inclusion. We're proud that our teams reflect expanded diversity from the conference committee to the subcommittees to the juries and reviewer pools that reviewed content for the conference. 
We are also better supporting working parents by offering low-cost childcare on-site at the conference this year, which is the added bonus of exposing children to STEAM subjects at an early age. Here. One additional element I wanted to champion was adding a dose of spectacle to the experience. I want this week to be as entertaining as it is inform informational. I want you to walk away from this conference with a great memory that will stand out as your SIGGRAPH 2019 experience. So please, have fun while you learn this week. Before I conclude my remarks, I'd like to highlight some new inclusions that we have for SIGGRAPH 2019. In relation to our programs, our reputable technical papers program further elevated efforts this year by introducing a fully double-blind jury. We also introduced a new focus area, adaptive technology, to bring more visibility to technology with the purpose of increasing accessibility. We know that the VR theater continues to be a popular program and are happy to have increased their capacity and hours to allow more people to enjoy. As you've likely heard, our Computer Animation Festival Electronic Theater is tonight. This is a one year or a one night only event held at Microsoft Theater this year, and it will be in LA Live beginning at 6.30 p.m. The reception will be conveniently located steps away in the Xbox Plaza at the heart of LA Live. Lastly, we are pre pleased to introduce and share the SIGGRAPH 2019 Conference Awards during this session following the ACM SIGGRAPH Awards. I'm excited to recognize our top conference contributors on this very stage. Thank you all for joining me here at SIGGRAPH 2019. I hope you'll have a truly amazing time. At this time, I'd like to present our next speaker. It's my pleasure to introduce the ACM SIGGRAPH president, Jessica Hodgins. So what is SIGGRAPH? It's of course a great conference with, uh, held someplace in North America, often in LA, with about 15,000 attendees. And I hope that you're all gonna have a great week enjoying the conference. But SIGGRAPH is actually many other things. It's actually a set of conferences, so not just this one, but also SIGGRAPH Asia, and a set of specialized conferences focusing on topics like graphics, uh, sorry, like games, animation, uh, computational fabrication, and graphics hardware. In addition to being uh, a set of conferences, it's also an organization that works in support of researchers in computer graphics and interactive techniques. And that, re that organization is led by nine elected volunteers on the executive committee, as well as 15 volunteer-run standing committees. So the mission of ACM SIGGRAPH is to nurture, champion, and connect researchers in computer graphics and interactive techniques. I've listed this as pending approval by ACM, and it's actually uh, a new mission statement. So here's the old mission statement just for comparison, and that's to promote the generation and dissemination of information uh, rather than to uh, support our members and, and volunteers. And we made this change because we believe it's critically important right now that we be working very hard to provide opportunities in mentoring, career development, uh, and things in that space for uh, our, our members and for our attendees at the conference. And this is because uh, some of our, our members are uh, struggling with changes in the marketplace as well as reduced funding. So we want to pivot a little bit toward supporting our, our volunteers and our members and attendees. Uh, we're, uh, re oops, I guess I missed a slide, sorry. The organization is trying to think about long-term strategic questions uh, for SIGGRAPH. So we're trying to answer questions like, what should a year-round SIGGRAPH experience look like? How would you like to interact with your community uh, throughout the year? And what should the conference and the organization look like in the future, say in 2030, for example? Uh, should we have a few big conferences? Should we have many smaller, more focused conferences? Should we be have geographically dispersed conferences. So we're trying to 
uh, wrestle with questions like that, thinking out of ways, either 2030 or 2035 seem like good targets. We'd really like your input on these questions, so we're holding a series of town halls. They're listed as BOFs in the program if you want to look them up. The first one will be right after this session uh, this morning, and it'll focus on what should the papers program look like in 2030. That'll be followed by one on the U.S. funding uh, situation. And then tomorrow morning, same time slot, uh, we're asking what your organization should, can do for you. So please come there and tell us uh, what you think the executive committee and the SIGGRAPH organization should be doing to support you in your career. And then on Wednesday, we're uh, asking for input on future topics for SIGGRAPH Frontiers. This is a new program as of last year where we're trying to bring in adjacent communities uh, to the organization. And that's Wednesday at the same time. If you can't make it to that, then feel free to send in suggestions at the email address that's there. So we have quite a few activities that are bringing new communities into SIGGRAPH this year under the SIGGRAPH Frontiers umbrella. So yesterday we held a series of six workshops that explored questions, uh, research questions, and uh, areas that were, are adjacent to what we normally consider computer graphics and, and interactive techniques. And then Sunday morning through Thursday morning, so you can still catch some of these, we have a series of talks. They're at 8 a.m., so you have to be committed and get up. Uh, but uh, they're also on a series of uh, topics that are of interest to people who attend SIGGRAPH, but also are a little bit adjacent to the normal topics uh, that we talk about here. We're celebrating and supporting our community. We're doing a number of things for students. Uh, thesis Fast Forward, a doctoral consortium, uh, and new this year is a travel grant program that will roll out for SIGGRAPH Asia in this fall, uh, where we're going to be providing support to a set of students to attend the conferences. Uh, we have a couple of new awards. Practitioners was presented for the first time last year and educators for the first time this year. Uh, we just held a second annual, our second annual Diversity and Inclusion Summit on Sunday, and we've set up an organization called SIGGRAPH CARES to aid in reporting of any incidents in, uh, in the area of discrimination or harassment. And the email address, if you need it, is listed there. Uh, we'd also like to celebrate our volunteers, our long-term volunteers. So we have a set of ribbons and pins that are in conference management. So if you've been volunteering with the conference or the organization for more than five years, feel free to stop by there, fill out a quick survey about your volunteer activities, and pick up a pin or a ribbon uh, for the number of years that you've been working with the conference or the organization. We're still continuing to tell the stories of SIGGRAPH innovation. One of the ways in which we're doing that is conference in a box. This is a way of packaging up some of the material from the conferences so that it can be used by chapters and at conferences and adjacent fields to tell the stories of all the innovation that's presented at SIGGRAPH. And we provide free online access to all of the published conference materials from all of our sponsored and co-sponsored conferences, uh, and that's available from SIGGRAPH.org. Uh, it's not behind a paywall. And we have a set of ongoing upgrades to SIGGRAPH.org, hopefully making it a little easier to find all of this information. So with that, I'd like to conclude. I really would like to encourage you to participate in the conference and the organization, uh, not just by attending. Uh, one easy way to do that is by voting. Uh, so we're currently running an election for three directors at large uh, for the EC. If you were a member as of the end of May, you can vote. The election closes in mid-August. Uh, you can see the back of your badge uh, for instructions on how to recover your PIN or see uh, the URL listed there. And if you're waiting to vote until you've actually met the candidates, so you know you can cast a, a make a well-considered decision, then please come to the BOF. That'll be Tuesday at 5 p.m. in room 309, and you'll be able to listen to the candidates and also to ask them questions about what their agenda is for the organization and for our community of SIGGRAPH. We'd also like to welcome you, to invite you to participate by volunteering. Uh, we have a number of high-level leadership positions that will be open over the next year. Uh, we need six volunteers for candidate for director. That's for next year's election. Uh, and then we have four standing committee uh, positions that are open in career development and, and, uh, and providing lifelong learning, providing information uh, to people. So if you're interested in those positions, send an email to the email address there, or feel free also to suggest people that you think would be really good for that role. You don't just have to self-nominate. 
So with that, welcome to SIGGRAPH. I hope you have a great time at the conference this week. And uh, please feel free to, to contact me if you have any suggestions for things we should be doing for the organization. Thank you. And I'd ver I'm very pleased now to welcome awards chair Spike Hughes to the stage. Good morning. The ACM SIGGRAPH Awards and the ACM SIGGRAPH Academy honor the very best of SIGGRAPH in technical accomplishment, artistic endeavor, and in service to our community. This year, we're introducing the new Distinguished Educator Award, one that recognizes contributions to computer graphics and education, which is a wonderfully symbiotic relationship. Not only can we teach graphics in new and inspiring ways, but we can also use graphics to help us teach other materials so much more effectively. The winners of the ACM SIGGRAPH Awards and the members of the ACM SIGGRAPH Academy are selected by committees made up and chaired by respected members of our community. Those chairs will shortly introduce this year's winners. The committees work from your nominations. If there's someone you think has done great work or great service or made great art, go ahead and send in a nomination. You go to the SIGGRAPH Awards page for each award. There's a thing that you can click on to contact that chair. Just go ahead and do it. Nominating is pretty easy. It's described on the awards page for each award category, and it's really easy to get started. Just send email to the awards chair. They'll tell you what to do next. You can do it right now. Nomination isn't a popularity contest. It doesn't matter if someone's nominated once or nominated 20 times. Just go ahead and do it. It's a lot of fun to be on an awards committee and talk about the great work people have done. But in truth, it's really difficult for each awards committee to select just one winner from all the nominees. Committee awards chairs who coordinate this process typically serve a three-year renewable term. As of this time, Alan Rockwood has agreed to chair the service committee moving forward. He's replacing Terence Masson, who has chaired the committee from 2013 to 2019, and whose excellent work in that role I'd like to acknowledge. Terence? In just a moment, I'll turn things over to the individual committee chairs. But before I do so, I want to encourage you not merely to admire the folks you're here, seeing here, but to be inspired by them as well. They're all folks who've made a difference to SIGGRAPH and computer graphics as a whole. But you, too, could be one of these people. Look for yourselves in them. They're models for all of us. I'll now hand things over to the chair of the selection committee for the SIGGRAPH Academy. Please welcome Holly Rushmeyer. The ACM SIGGRAPH Academy was established to recognize individuals who have made substantial contributions to the field of computer graphics and interactive techniques. With the Academy, we recognize leaders in the field who have impact more broadly defined than it has been in our past awards program. Last year, in its inaugural year, we recognized the long history of contributions to our field by inducting our first class of members all of the past recipients of the Stephen A. Coons Award, the Computer Graphics Achievement Award, and the Distinguished Artist Award for Lifetime Achievement in Digital Art. This year, we issued a call for nominations of researchers, practitioners, technologists, artists, designers, and educators whose work is influential and who are having a direct impact on the field. The selection committee received and carefully considered nominations for many very accomplished individuals. Today we are pleased to int introduce eight new members of the SIGGRAPH Academy. 
They will each be receiving a plaque and a replica of the original Utah teapot. Frederick Brooks for pioneering work applying scientific rigor to virtual reality and applying virtual reality to scientific research. Marie Paul Connie for contributions in implicit surfaces, physical simulation, sketch-based interaction and expressive modeling and for leadership in the graphics community. Donna Cox for pioneering work in the art of scientific data visualization. Marcus Gross for contributions to point-based graphics, 3D capture and video technology, and physics-based animation, and for founding an influential industry research laboratory. Dinesh Manocha for contributions to geometric modeling, GPU computing, interactive rendering of large complex scenes, and interactive sound simulation. Ravi Ramamurti for groundbreaking theoretical work in mathematical representations of visual appearance and for translating these into computational methods with wide practical impact. Hanan Samet for founding, developing, and authoring the definitive texts in the field of storing, processing, analyzing, and retrieving spatial data. Dennis Zorin for fundamental contributions that have advanced the fields of geometry processing, multi-resolution shape modeling, and geometric principles of physics-based simulation in graphics. Please welcome Terence Masson. subwoofers to die. Uh, let's see. Hello again. So my name is Terrence. I want to thank uh, my committee uh, and, and working alongside our incredible contractors. Thank you. The heart and soul of SIGGRAPH is our volunteers. From our SVs to our conference chair, it takes almost 600 volunteers, over 71,000 hours to put on one conference. That's over eight volunteer years by men and women to give you just these five days, to give you some idea. I encourage you all to volunteer at all levels of the conference and organization year round, starting with your local professional and student chapters. The Outstanding Service Award is presented annually to recognize a career of outstanding service to ACM SIGGRAPH by a volunteer. It recognizes an individual who's given extraordinary service to both the SIGGRAPH organization and his conferences over a significant amount of time. The award includes a lifetime membership to ACM SIGGRAPH. I'm very proud to say this year's awards nominee, nominee? She was a nominee, now she's a recipient, <laughs> is Jackie White. Since first joining SIGGRAPH, yes. <laughs> recipient. First joining SIGGRAPH in 1986, Jackie began serving the Traveling Art Show, Education Committee, and Community Outreach until being chosen as the 2000 Conference Chair. Over the next 15 years, she volunteered in many roles, including special sessions chair, panel sessions jury member, chair in the conference advisory group, and serving the SIGGRAPH Asia Conference Advisory Group Committee. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jackie White.
Thank you so much for this award. I know I stand on the shoulders of 45 years of SIGGRAPH volunteers, and I am very honored to be counted among them. Please welcome Sue Golifer. Good morning, everybody. The Distinguished Artists Award for the Lifetime Achievement in Digital Art is awarded annually to an artist who has created a body of work that has significantly advanced the aesthetic content of digital art. This year, ACM SIGGRAPH is honored to recognize Donna J. Cox, a pioneer in the art of scientific visualization. As an artist, she collaborates with scientists and te technologists to create insightful presentations of numerical data and scientific concepts. She has created a large body of work in collaboration with the Advanced Visualization Lab, a renaissance team of artists, scientists who collaborate with geosciences, astrophysics, and other scientific domains at the National Center for Supercomputing Applications. Cox's work has been internationally pivotal in the convergence of art, science, digital research, and for her pioneering use of supercomputers in her artistic applications. The design and cinematic presentations of numerical data, groundbreaking IMAX science films, popular film dome, planetarium museum shows, science documentary and virtual reality software is impressive. ACM SIGGRAPH is honored to recognize Donna as an important pioneer in the art of scientific data visualization. Please welcome Donna J. Cox. Thank you, SIGGRAPH Committee. And uh, I have a few other people to thank. Thanks to my daughter, Elizabeth Cox, who's been with me all these years of digital art. Thanks to Bob Patterson and my life partner and long-term collaborator. To the NCSA at the University of Illinois, especially the AVL, Stuart Levy, Jeff Carpenter, A.J. Christensen, Kalina Borkowitz, and former members Alex Betts and Gretchen Hall. To Pat Hanrahan, who introduced me to SIGGRAPH in 83. To NCSA's founding director, Larry Smarr, and current director, Bill Gropp. To Ellen Sandor, Janine Fraun, and all the pioneers. Our collaborators, including Tom Lucas, Chris Landreth, and the late Tony Myers. To my close friends, Jan and Monica, and thanks to Mick, Mickey Rose and this year's SIGGRAPH Committee for recognizing women and working very hard on diversity issues. SIGGRAPH, you are important to me, my work family. You are my tribe. Thank you very much. Please welcome Eric Brunvond. This year, ACM SIGGRAPH has established a brand new award, the Distinguished Educator Award. This award will be given annually to recognize outstanding pedagogical contributions to computer graphics and interactive techniques at any educational level. We are thrilled to announce that the first ever recipient of the Distinguished Educator Award is Andy Van Dam.
Professor Van Dam's name should be familiar to virtually everyone in this room. After all, how many of us got our first exposure to the wonders of computer graphics through the textbook that Andy wrote with Jim Foley in 1982, entitled Fundamentals of Interactive Computer Graphics, now known simply as Foley and Van Dam? I know I did. It's still on my shelf and um, holds an honored place on my shelf of books. But did you also know that Andy, along with Sam Matza from IBM, founded SickGraph in 1969, which is the direct predecessor of ACM SIGGRAPH? Andy has been on the faculty at Brown University since 1965. He was the first department chair. And he currently holds the ranks of Thomas J. Watson, Jr., University Professor of Technology and Education and Professor of Computer Science. His long and distinguished career has been almost entirely dedicated to pushing forward computer graphics and especially computer graphics education. Andy has influenced multiple generations of computer graphics students, continues to inspire us all. I am honored to introduce Andy Van Dam as the first recipient of the ACM SIGGRAPH Distinguished Educator Award. Please welcome Andy Van Dam. I'm truly thrilled to receive this singular honor. So thank you very much, Eric, and the rest of the committee. I want to thank some of the important people that have been a great influence on my career in academia, starting with my father, who came late to teaching and was a pioneer in marine biology, who taught me the value of preparation, persistence, and patience. Thanks to Sam Matza, my first graphic sponsor, we ran a series of ACM professional development seminars in multiple cities in this country and in Western Europe, and we saw that there was a bunch of interest in computer graphics, which was scarcely known at the time. That's how SIGGRAPH came to be. I want to acknowledge dear friends and colleagues who have influenced and indeed inspired me, starting with my brother, Jim Foley, also, Don Greenberg, Henry Fuchs, Jose and Carnassau, and Spike. Now, those of you who teach know that one of the joys of being an academic is that you have a steady stream of wonderful people come to you to learn. But the truth is, and it's a cliche, you learn more from your students than they from you. And I want to acknowledge some of those who followed in my footsteps as graphics academics. Dan Bergeron, Steve Feiner, David Salison, the late Randy Pausch, Dick Bultemann, and Joe Laviola. And last but not least, I want to thank my dear wife Debbie and our three daughters for having endured more than 50 years of workaholism. Thank you all very much for this great honor. Please welcome Mark Aylent. Good morning. Um, my uh, co-chair for the Practitioner Award, Natalia Tatarchak, is actually uh, running the advances in real-time graphics uh, rendering today. So she's unfortunately unable to be here. So um, the, I'm here to present the Practitioner Award. The Pract SIGGRAPH Practitioner Award recognizes practitioners in computer graphics and interactive applications. These are the people who innovate by building products, services, systems, that advance the field. This is only the second year that we've been presenting the uh, Practitioner Award, and we're pleased to recognize Stephen Hill as this year's recipient.
Steven, if you don't know, has made multiple contributions to real-time graphics. For example, the design and implementation of ambient occlusion and hierarchical visibility systems in splinter cell conviction. But he's also uh, developed the volumetric lighting method used in Carne y Arena. It was the first, and so far the only, virtual reality experience to win an Academy Award. In addition, Stephen has organized the SIGGRAPH physically-based shading course since 2012, and in his spare time, what little he has, he dedicates himself to other communication with practitioners, including his incredibly influential blog, Self Shadow. Stephen has influenced and inspired practitioners worldwide, and it's my extreme pleasure to invite Stephen up to receive this year's award. Please welcome Stephen Hill. This award is such a huge honor to me and I'd like to thank a few people. Uh, first, uh, my parents for nurturing my love of computer graphics and art, uh, and also to my, my wonderful wife, Elsa, uh, for her love and support over the years. I'd also like to thank uh, my uh, former and current uh, teammates uh, for putting their faith behind uh, what has oftentimes been uh, quite risky and adventurous tech. Uh, I'd also uh, like to thank my physically based shading course cohorts, Stephen McCauley and Natty Hoffman, and also all of the wonderful contributors we've had to the course over the many years. I'd also like to uh, thank my research partner in crime, Eric Heitz. Uh, I've learned so much from you, as I'm sure many other of you have as well. And finally, uh, to all of you folks, really, for um, inspiring each other and, and myself, and uh, I hope we can just keep pushing each other forward in the future. Thank you. Please welcome Ming Lin. Good morning. The ACM SIGGRAB Outstanding Doctoral Dissertation Awards recognize recent doctoral candidates who have already made a notable contribution very early during their doctoral study. I would like to first announce this year's honorable mention. They are Angela Dai, Adriana Schultz, Hao Su. Let us congratulate them for their excellent dissertation research. Now, let me introduce you this year's ACM SIGGRAPH Dissertation Award winner, Dr. Ling Chi Yen. Dr. Yen received his PhD from the University of California, Berkeley, advised by Professor Ravi Ramamurti. Dr. Yen's dissertation introduced a unified comprehensive view of visual appearance modeling for specular re microstructure or glints, fur reflectance, and fast Monte Carlo rendering. His work has already been adopted and, um, it, and have a significant practical impact in industry, ranging from Autodesk Fusion 360, rise of Tomb Ra Raider to, in 2016, to the VEDA Digital War for the Planet of Apes. His dissertation also includes a record-breaking seven ACM SIGGRAPH papers and ACM talk papers. I'm pleased to present this year's SIGGRAPH Outstanding Doctoral Dissertation Award to Dr. Ling Chi Yen. Let's welcome him.
Well, this is really my greatest honor to receive this award. And I would like to take this opportunity to um, thank the committee for recognizing my work and my wife, Yifan Wei, and my family for their continuous support. Um, and Professor Ravi Ramamurthy for being such a great PhD advisor of mine and my amazing collaborators. Without them, this work could never be done. And to all of you, my friends, life is truly amazing. Thank you. Please welcome Tom Funkhauser. Okay, so the Significant New Research Award is given to a person annually who has made significant research contributions early in their career. I'm pleased to present this year's award to Wenzel Jakob. Uh, Wenzel's being recognized for both his theoretical and practical contributions to computer graphics, particularly in rendering. He not only invented several new algorithms for rendering surfaces and volumes, but he's also the developer for the open source software package Mitsuba, which has had great practical impact on the field. Beyond that, he's made significant contributions to measurement and modeling of surface materials, fabrication of refractive surfaces, and remeshing of geometric surfaces. Although Wenzel is young, his contributions have already helped shape the field and enabled computer graphics practitioners around the world. Please help me congratulate Wenzel Jakob. incredibly grateful for the honor of this award. I'd like to thank Steve Marschner and Olga sorkin Hornung, my two former advisors, for being wonderful role models and sources of inspiration. I'd like to thank all of my collaborators and my students, and last but not least, my parents and my wife for their love and support. Thank you very much. Okay, the Computer Graphics Achievement Award is given to an individual each year for outstanding research contributions in computer graphics and interactive techniques. This year, I'm pleased to present the award to Dennis Zorin. Dennis has a number of deep and fundamental research contributions in geometric modeling for computer graphics. Most notably, he was a pioneer in multi-resolution and subdivision meshing, where he laid much of the mathematical groundwork and demonstrated their use for interactive surface modeling. Beyond that, he introduced important methods for surface parameterization, quad meshing, physics-based simulation of elastic objects, illustrative surface, surface rendering, and digital fabrication. As a whole, his re research is uniquely characterized by both its mathematical depth, its creativity, and also its impact. Please help me congratulate Dennis Zorin. I'd like to thank, thank the awards committee for this great honor. And my greatest thanks go to my uh, students, my postdocs, and uh, collaborators at uh, NYU and elsewhere, uh, who, to whom really most of the credit for this award belongs. Uh, I would also like to say to thank my family for their uh, patience and uh, or, uh, ask for forgiveness for all the missed Christmas vacations. Uh, and <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, in particular, to thank my wife, Isabella, who was uh, always very supportive. Um, finally, I'd like to thank the whole SIGGRAPH com community for creating such a wonderful and vibrant uh, 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 research environment uh, that helped me through, throughout the years to do my work. Thank you.
Okay, so the Stephen A. Coons Award is presented in even number, odd number of years to honor an individual who has made lifetime contributions to computer graphics and interactive techniques. I'm pleased to announce that this year's award is being presented to Michael F. Cohen. Michael has been remarkable for his sustained, sustained level of research out output over the last three and a half decades. If you're my age, you learned about radiosity and photorealistic rendering from his early pa papers and books. If you're a bit younger, you learn from him about motion simulation and editing, image-based rendering, and image matting. If you're a millennial, you know best his work about computational photography, which includes digital photo montage, flash, no ma flash image pairs, the moment camera, gigapixel images, shadow draw, and many others. Beyond these research firsts, Michael has been an active volunteer for the SIGGRAPH organization, having served on the papers committee 11 times, served as the papers chair, and been the chair of the technical awards committee. So please join me in congratulating Michael F. Cohen. Thanks, Tom, and thanks to the awards committee for this great honor. I only have a few seconds to say some thank yous now. Hopefully, some of you will attend the awards talks later today. Perhaps the man to whom I owe the most in shaping my career is Don Greenberg, in whose lab I walked some 36 years ago. Being a carpenter before I arrived at Cornell may have been one of the reasons Don invited me to join the lab, so I could help build the Cornell box. But more importantly, Don had the inspiration and view into the future that the box represented. He had the crazy idea that someday we would be able to create computer graphics images that people would not be able to tell apart from a real photograph. These two images, one real and one synthetic, was the first time that was rigorously attempted 30-some years ago. Of course, today the answer is obvious. We all walk into the movie theater and never even consider asking this question anymore. I also want to call out my long-term mentor, Rick Zaliski, with whom I have collaborated the past 25 years. He and students, now colleagues, Shlomo Gordler, Asim Agarwala, Johannes Kopp, and many, many others, helped us work through the introduction of the Lumograph in the mid-90s, which led to much of the development of what came to be known as image-based rendering. This work inspired us to think about the distinction between a photograph, such as the one at the top, in which my wife and sister-in-law would have been very unhappy to have shared, and to computing the moment below, which never objectively happened, but was what we were all experiencing. And most recently, to the 3D photos, which hopefully some of you are seeing now on Facebook. I also have to thank my wonderful and supportive family, parents who taught me the role of doing good for others as the best way to move through life my economist wife, who taught me to always challenge my assumptions, a daughter who put up with me, inserting her into my research over the years, and of whom I am so excited to see now launching into her own career. And finally, all the amazing mentors, colleagues, co-authors, graduate and undergraduate students, and others to whom I really owe this award. If you're searching to see if you're on the list, I can assure you, you are there. And I do mean all of you. It is the whole SIGGRAPH community to whom I owe my career and this award. Thank you so much. Once again, please welcome Mickey Rose. Please join me in congratulating all of the ACM SIGGRAPH Award winners once again. As I mentioned in my earlier remarks, we are delighted to be sharing SIGGRAPH 2019 conference awards, <clears throat> conference awards today as well. 
These awards are intended to recognize and celebrate those contributions deemed best in show in their respective programs. Conference awards have been selected for the following areas. Computer Animation Festival Electronic Theater, Art Gallery, Art Papers, Emerging Technologies, and Immersive Experience. Please note, the Real-Time Live Best in Show Award will be awarded in real time at tonight's session. Also, there are two Emerging Technologies Awards, the Laval Virtual Award and the Digital Content Association of Japan Award, to be presented at the External Relations Meet the Partners event on Wednesday afternoon. Now, it is with great pleasure that I kick off the SIGGRAPH 2019 Conference Awards presentation. Please welcome Emily Sue. Good morning. So nice to see you all so early. Uh, I am very pleased and honored to be here to present these awards today. And I hope to see you all at the Electronic Theater tonight at Microsoft Theater. Uh, we will be opening doors at 515. Do not bring your bags if you want to go through a fast pass line. Um, and, and we'll definitely see you there. Uh, it's it's going to be an incredible show. And we will have the award winners present and will show you an incredible lineup, including these amazing three award winners. So with that, I am pleased to present the Computer Animation Festival Best Student Project Award. The award goes to Elise Simulin and Anna Komaromi of Supinfocom Rubica for Stuffed. It is a pleasure to present the Computer Animation Festival Jury's Choice Award. The award goes to Melanie Lopez and Simone Buckley of Supinfocom Rubica, again, for the Stain Club. not get rid of me this morning. Oh, it is an honor to present the Computer Animation Festival Best in Show Award. The award goes to Kristen Lester and Jillian Libert of Pixar Animation Studios for Pearl. Please welcome Brittany Ransom. As the 2019 Art Gallery Chair, I'm pleased to announce the Best in Show Award to Rushi by John Wong. Please welcome Eberardo Reyes. Hello, I'm pleased to present the Best Art Paper Award. The award goes to Chris Leng, Kent Perlin, Corin Brenner, Sebastian Herscher, and Thomas Meduri of New York University 
for CAVE, Making Collective Virtual Narrative. Please welcome Courtney Starrett. I am pleased to present the Emerging Technologies Best in Show Award to NVIDIA. And here to accept on behalf of the whole team are Shung Young Kim, Ray E. Wu, Xander Majerik, Peter Shirley, Morgan McGuire, and Michael Stengel. Please welcome Victoria Reggae and Maxwell Plank. We are pleased to present the Immersive Experience Best in Show Award. And the winners are, the winner is Bonfire by Baobab Studios. And the award goes to Larry Cutler, Wei Wang, Michael Hutchinson, Nathaniel Dirksen, Eric Darnell, and Jeff Fisher. Once again, please welcome Mickey Rose. Me again. <laughs> there we go. Thank you all very much for your time this morning. Please go out and explore SIGGRAPH 2019. Let's learn, share, and celebrate together. Make sure you take advantage of every opportunity to thrive. This concludes our opening ceremony. Have a great week.